hello. Welcome to Next 22. My prediction is by the end of 2025, developers will start with neural inclusive design, will see a 5x growth in user adoption in their first two years in production. Here at Google, we believe the world and our workplace needs all types of thinkers. What do you think about that, Jim? That's right, one in five of us here today are neurodistinct. But what is neuroinclusive design? Neuroinclusive design is designed for cognitive and sensory accessibility. So neuroinclusive design starts with raising accessibility for neurodistinct people like myself, but everyone benefits. Design principles can be made neuroinclusive when you plan thoughtfully for balance, proportion, unity, light, color, space, and patterns. My name is Eric Brewer. My prediction is that by the end of 2025, four out of five enterprise developers will use some form of curated open source. What I mean by that is curated open source comes with support for developers. We believe in this philosophy so much that we are already working on it. To help you build secure apps faster, we're releasing Software Delivery Shield. This is a fully managed security solution that protects your software supply chain from source to deployment. And as part of SDS, we have our initial curated open source example called Assured OSS. This service curates open source packages used by Google and makes them available to you, our cloud developers. Google will scan, analyze, and fuzz test more than 250 Java and Python packages for security vulnerabilities on your behalf, and we'll update them as needed. My name is Iman Ganizada, and my prediction is that by the end of 2025, 90% of security operations workflows will be automated and managed as code. Okay, so SecOps teams are struggling to keep up with the attackers. We all know this, right? There's, there's too much data, complex technology environments, and there's more adversaries now more than ever. So to scale security across cloud, we're gonna make security more agile and accessible to everyone through code. Our autonomic security operations framework is designed to help you take advantage of our API-first approach with Chronicle Security Operations and other tools, including many of those tools that are within our new Mandiant portfolio. The shift in our, our new framework takes traditional assembly line security operations workflows into a codified continuous feedback model we call continuous detection, continuous response, or CDCR for short. Hi, my name is Camilia Aryafar, and my prediction is by the end of 2025, AI is going to be the primary driver for moving to a four-day work week. <laughs> Enterprise use of AI alone exploded over the past few years, touching all aspects of business. One of the greatest reasons behind this is AI's huge potential to increase employee productivity. With Vertex AI, data scientists can now build and train ML models five times faster, meaning increased time for experimentation, reduced custom coding, and the ability to move more ML models into production. Today, with the announcement of Vertex AI Vision, we are taking this a step further and providing you with a fully managed development environment for creating computer vision applications. I'm Irina Farouk. And my prediction is that by the end of 2025, 90% of data will be actionable in real time using ML. A recent survey found that only one third of all companies are able to realize tangible value from their data. First, you can't act on data unless you can see it and trust it. That's why I'm particularly excited about the new data quality and lineage capabilities in Dataplex bringing intelligence and automation to help you trust your data. Second, you can't act on data unless you can work with it. I'm excited about BigQuery's new support for unstructured data. Now you can be sure that you can, your BigQuery skills will pay off across all your data, from structured to semi-structured to unstructured. Lastly, you can't act on today's data tomorrow. Dataflow, our streaming analytics service, powers critical Google services, and we believe it can do the same for you. Hi, I'm Andy Goodmans, and I predict that by the end of 2025, 
the barriers between transactional and analytical workloads will disappear. Our transactional and analytical databases are built on a highly scalable, disaggregated compute and storage system and Google's high-performance global network, allowing us to provide tightly integrated data services. First, data stream for BigQuery, which allows you to easily replicate data from transactional databases into BigQuery in real time. Next, database migration service, which provides a one-click migration from Postgres into AlloyDB for operational analytics. And lastly, we support Query Federation with Spanner, Cloud SQL, and Bigtable right from the BigQuery console to analyze data in transactional databases. My name is Amin Vadat, and my prediction is, by the end of 2025, over half of cloud infrastructure decisions will be automated based on an organization's usage patterns to meet performance and reliability needs. This is called an Infrastructure Processing Unit, or IPU, and it gives you massive performance and scalability to power high-performance, data-intensive apps. These IPUs are at the heart of our new C3 VMs. Meet the hardware behind the new Tensor Processing Unit, the TPU v4 platform. It's likely the world's fastest, largest, and most efficient machine learning supercomputer. This liquid-cooled board is a beast in both power and performance density. The same IPUs and TPUs that power your services are the foundation that will enable us to automate over half of cloud infrastructure decisions in the next couple of years. Hi, my name is Teran Giannini, and my prediction is that by the end of 2025, three out of four developers will lead with sustainability as their primary development principle. 65% of IT executives said they want to improve their sustainability efforts, but don't know how to do it. We can give them better data about the environmental footprint of their business. Right from the Cloud Console, you can access the Carbon Footprint dashboard of your account. My name is Richard Sirother. My prediction for you today is that by the end of 2025, over half of all organizations using public cloud are actually going to freely switch their primary cloud as a result of all these new multi-cloud capabilities available. But here at Google Cloud, we've made some unique investments in a multi-cloud management plane that works with your compute and your data, even if it's on other clouds. If you'll see here, I actually have an EKS cluster I built, and I've actually attached this to the Anthos control plane. From here, I can manage the cluster, I can view workloads, I can deploy things, I can troubleshoot, I can apply common policies. As I start using Google Cloud Services, I want to use it even more and more. So I might introduce things like Anthos clusters to Azure and AWS. This is the GKE API and GKE software running across clouds, which is amazing. And just now, we just shipped the capability where I can even upgrade those clusters in place on another cloud from the Google Cloud Console. That's awesome. I don't have to jump all over the place to run all my infrastructure. Now, what's really cool is you may also continue to use Anthos on Google Cloud to manage all of your fleets of GKE clusters at all of our regions around the world. I'm showing you some new dashboards here that are coming out. And this actually, actually lets me manage not just my GKE clusters, but I'm managing on-prem, bare metal, VMware, Edge, doesn't matter. I'm getting a view of my entire fleet and managing that. I'm Jana Mandic, and my prediction is that by the end of 2025, over half of all business applications will be built by users who do not identify as professional developers today. The adoption of no-code and low-code tools will unlock this potential by making the development process easier for more users. Well, with these tools, those business users you had to say no to can instead create apps and workflow automations themselves with no programming skills required. These no-code and low-code apps will be built collaboratively with developers like you, who will provide the guardrails to keep the business secure while enabling business users to deliver their own solutions. Remember, if you want to share your own prediction, use the hashtag Google Cloud Predictions to tell us all about it. We can't wait to hear from you.